Hey everyone, thanks for watching. What's up? I'm the Sports Judge. I was hoping to have done this video on Tuesday night or early Wednesday morning, but didn't get around to doing it. So I'm doing it now. Um, I'm talking about the Los Angeles Lakers. I know not everyone, not every win is going to be pretty. I understand that. Sometimes it's going to be ugly as it was against the Minnesota Timberwolves, but isn't that a cause for concern if you're a Lakers fan? It shouldn't have been that difficult. It shouldn't have been that hard for the Lakers. This game should have been a gimme. Given what had happened in the last 24 hours with a distracted and decimated Timberwolves team. The last couple of days have been very turbulent for the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Lakers almost gave me a heart attack. They almost they almost gave me a heart attack the other night. This team nearly put me in the hospital. I was going crazy. I was going off. I was ranting. You know, and now the next stop is the playoffs. After escaping the Minnesota Timberwolves in what was a nail-biter, a nerve-wracking, tense, tight game that needed to that needed to be decided in overtime, the Lakers have officially clinched a playoff spot. Ticket is secured, but there's still a lot of work to be done. All season long, and it has been a, co a constant pattern, as we know, these damn Lakers have played with our emotions. We don't know what to expect from this Laker team. It's been that kind of season. It's been an emotional roller coaster ride that has featured twists and turns and even a few loops here and there. I had my doubts about the Lakers. Hell, I didn't even think they would make the play-in tournament, let alone clinch a spot in the playoffs. I had my doubts about this Laker team. I wasn't a firm believer. And here they are in the playoffs. But they still have, again, a lot of work to do. The job isn't done. The question that remains, can, can they get it done? I think that's worth ask, asking, right? We're talking about a Lakers team that barely got past the Timberwolves. If this seemed like a real test, wait until the Lakers see the Memphis Grizzlies on Sunday. Now, that's a real test. Competition will get stiffer. It won't get easier. Not Every win, again, is going to be pretty. Some are going to be ugly. And surely this one was ugly. But the Lakers will take it because it is a win. After all, the Lakers live to fight another day. Now they can get some rest and get ready for the Grizzlies. Because the Grizzlies are fast. They're very explosive. It was an ugly first step. But that's been the story all season for the Lakers. One day, the Lakers have you believing they can win the whole thing. Then the next day, they have you doubting them. By now, fans here in Southern California are used to that. The end result in Tuesday night's play-in game was a 102, excuse me, a 108-102 win. Sloppy, very sloppy, too many turnovers. And that's another thing. The Lakers are going to have to cut down on the turnovers. It's ridiculous. For much of the game, the Timberwolves out-hustled and outworked the Lakers, taking full control and jumping out to a 15-point lead in the third quarter. Playing with house money, the Timberwolves simply didn't surrender. They didn't back down. The late game comeback was encouraging but I'm not sure the Lakers will be very tough to beat on the way to the NBA Finals. They don't scare anybody. This, this team doesn't scare anybody. They're not a threat to anybody. Stop it. Stop delusional Laker fans. They're not. Not with the careless turnovers. Not with the sloppy play. Not with the uninspired and slow start. Particularly in the first half. This night... Looking at this game, this night required an exhausting effort and a strong second half. It was a long night. It was a grind. Defense down the stretch won the game. 
It was a factor. Defense was huge in the second half. Aggressiveness and their hustle on that side of the floor was the difference in the second half. The Lakers were able to adjust and force the Timberwolves to turn it over 11 times. Over the game's final 17 minutes, Minnesota just made five shots. Call Anthony Towns, who went from a difference maker to an afterthought, wasn't nearly as effective in the second half. He was more non-existent in the second half. In the first half, he stood out and outplayed Anthony Davis. I, I forgot Anthony Davis was even out there. Anthony and Anthony Edwards, damn a lot of Anthony's. Damn a lot of Anthony's. What he was clearly off his game, Anthony Edwards. It was pedestrian, an unusual night at the office for Edwards. One of the reasons I have my concerns about the Lakers, and, and here's why, is because of their inability to defend in transition. Terrible defensive transition team. Awful. And I feel like when the Lakers don't settle for jump shots, they have a better chance to win the game. Don't settle for jump shots. Don't try to em emulate anyone else's style. Just play your game. This Lakers team was completely different from what we saw in the, in the first half on Tuesday night. It was then that LeBron James, using his body to work around the basket, and that Dennis Schroeder and Anthony Davis drove the lane and drew contact. James plowed through defenders and provided the necessary momentum. In terms of production, LeBron dropped 30 on the night. And because they attacked the basket strong, the Lakers were able to get to the line. One could look at this win as encouraging, while others, including myself, may look at it as troubling when you look at Sunday's matchup. Austin Reeves struggled to score the ball, but in reality, don't expect him to have a cold shooting night on Sunday. I expect him to bounce back in a big way. D'Angelo Russell did some talking. He was deloading. I don't know. I guess he was deloading. But what I do know is that he needs to score more than just two points. And I can stress, I and I can't stress it enough, that Davis has to set the tone. It's the Anthony Davis show. The Lakers, in order to win the Memphis series, needs him to be the it factor, needs him to be assertive. If the superstars, both James and Davis, show up and show out, the rest of the supporting cast will follow. It was fascinating to watch Dennis be a menace, sinking, and sinking a three-pointer with 1.4 seconds remaining. My, my immediate reaction was that it was ball game. The game was over, but I had spoken too soon. It should have been a heroic finish, but then you had Anthony Davis who got a little carried away late there, and Anthony Davis ended up committing a blatant three-point foul, which sent the game into overtime. Basketball 101. Never foul... A jump shooter. You never foul a jump shooter. You let him just get that shot off. The championship dream isn't dead. It's very much alive. But realistically, it's hard to see the Lakers winning the whole thing. They have to be better. They're not winning anything playing like this. They're going to have to play a lot better. They're going to have to get off to a fast start in the first quarter and set the tone. You're going to have to set the tone. Anthony Davis is going to have to be that scorer. He's going to have to score. They're going to need his presence on both ends of the floor. They're going to have to they're going to need him to swat shots, be an intimidating big man. Be effective in the paint. And the Lakers can't turn over the basketball. They're going to have to clean up some things. Especially against the Memphis Grizzlies cuz they like to get out in the fast break, and they and they like to score points, and they will capitalize on your mistakes. So the Lakers got to clean up some things. They got to tighten up on the defensive 
side of the ball, they really have to tighten up on the perimeter. Don't give up the three ball. Defend the three. That's that's one of my biggest pet peeves with the Lakers is that they don't all the time defend the three. Sometimes they get a little lackadaisical. They get complacent. And they blow defensive assignments, but they shouldn't be doing that. The Lakers have a lot of talent. And they have too much depth. They they need to be more consistent. Since the trade, since the since the Russell Westbrook trade, the Lakers have gotten consistently better. And they have played a great brand of basketball on a nightly basis. You're getting great play out of everyone. Great effort. But this series against the Memphis Grizzlies, there's no margin for error. The Lakers are going to have to be a lot better than what they were on Tuesday night. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a wonderful Thursday. And before I go, I just want to tell everyone to please do me a huge favor and subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys for watching. And yes, I'm going to put on my Laker fan cap and say, go Lakers. See ya.